The film is a story of a relationship between a father and son. It's a, it's a complex relationship. He's a very forceful, morally concrete, Central European man. In some senses, a kind of Old Testament figure ruling this house. Into this mix, there's thrown this somewhat ethereal, definitely enigmatic figure of this, the mother um, who comes and goes and is a very troubled woman. And really, it's the story of what happens to the father and the son in the midst of all of these really terrible events that happen. It's kind of that ability to transcend tragedy and, and learn from it that the film is about. Casting Romulus is really difficult because, you know, we needed an actor who could just sit there and in the most minute way convey an enormous amount. And um, Eric Banner just came as a kind of bolt out of the blue. The script turned up uh, one day and um, we put two and two together and my wife Rebecca said this is the, the book that I've given you about three years ago. So I read it immediately and had a very, very strong reaction to it and wanted to play Romulus straight away. What I liked immediately, and I read it like in one afternoon, was um, the seriousness of it and just the whole atmosphere that you already felt while you were just reading it. The silent moments and how you would go right into a scene and right out of a scene, which always means that it's a little bit of a challenge for an audience, you know, because the movie didn't seem, or the script didn't seem to comment on things. And I like those kind of movies myself. Finally, there's something about casting an actual German woman in that role that just, it just rang for us and it just needed to be somebody like Franco Patente, who I'd seen in, in a few films by then and I thought was always riveting. Really, he's pretty special, Russell Dykstra, because he, he's a terrific clown, but when you see him restraining that and putting in a performance like that of Mitru, there's something about that that's, that's even more wonderful. I have to say, the rest of the casting came pretty easily and then we got to the point of having to cast the kid. Who are we going to cast as this nine-year-old boy who has to go through this, all of this stuff and who has to hold the screen as well, so you have to have a star. And then, of course, you know, that's the, the, then there's the emotional demands of the piece itself and the physical rigour to find a child who, who, who you can take on that sort of a journey without, um, you know, on day 10, the, 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 the kid turning around to his mother and saying, I just don't want to be an actor anymore. To be sitting there acting opposite a kid, you know, playing his first big lead role and seeing someone who was so, so good. I felt very privileged. I remember saying to Richard a couple of times during the shoot, this is really, really special because, you know, this is not going to happen again. You're working with a kid who's giving his first real big performance. Martin, I think, I mean, Martin's just done the most beautiful performance. So he did this terrific performance in that. And then when this role was there, it just seemed like it would be something that he could do. I knew that he came from a Hungarian background. So, you know, he was acquainted with, with um, some of the sensibilities of that world and the men of that world. For him, the interconnectedness, interconnectedness of people is what's, what's primary. And this is really beautiful. Um, and I think it shows in the character's journey, in Hora's journey. He has uh, a self-reliance, but not to the extent where he's self-obsessed, um, and attempts to, to be there for people, rightly or wrongly. Of course, the way we live our lives from an objective perspective is is, uh, is another thing. We made the film absolutely in situ where all of the um, events in the biography and the story actually took place. I think the big thing, and, the, and we're all very conscious of this, 
was to create a bit of magic in, in a film, you know, create some kind of, something very true to the original material and the story of these people making their life there. It was quite a special thing to actually go to the place where it happened and film these scenes. There were a lot of parts of the story, whilst they didn't relate directly to my family's experience, they related directly to a very close friend's family's experience. So I was able to clearly recognise a lot of these characters. So I, I, it affected me on a very base level uh, and had a, a, it brought back a lot of my childhood and a lot of the stories that I've heard from my grandparents and music that I used to listen to. So it was just feeling as though this was also part of my heritage in a way, part of the story of my family and, and their struggle I could relate to. The shoot itself was at times, you know, exhilarating. Not very often, to be brutally honest, because it's just too bloody hard. It's too, it's too, you know, it's 11 o'clock and you're an hour, hour and a half down. And so it's that constant battle of trying to figure out how the f are we going to get this film done? I have to say, I think that Richard's background as a theatre director served him really well in film. I think he's a really good collaborator. I think he knows how to get the best out of the people around him. And I think he knows how to, to work with a team. Also, I guess as an actor, I mean, the performances in the film are exceptional. And I guess as an actor too, he, uh, he brought an incredible knowledge of how to get the best out of each of those, those cast members. Richard has a manner. It's... I don't know, it, it kind of puts everyone at ease, I think, and everyone feels um, as if, in all departments, feels that their work is appreciated. Uh, I haven't heard anyone have a bad word to say about him. He has uh, the ability to, um, to empathise with, with individuals and collectively. I think that's his strength. And so it's his first film, and it was nice to be a part of all that, because I imagine that He's learning a lot of things that he's not experienced before, as we all do. And uh, this has been really enjoyable. Um, I have to say that the spirit on set was, was really great. Um, the actors were, were, were terrific at keeping, um, you know, keeping a, a, a good spirit.